there are three aspects of the digital dividend that need to be considered. Uh, first of all, migration from analog to digital. Secondly, the evolution, the opportunities. And thirdly, and not least, um, the potential of interference from other services that may take benefit uh, of the digital dividend. The migration of existing services in the 800 MHz band will need to find new frequencies that will have to be coordinated and that will need to make some changes to the transmitters to adapt to the new frequencies and there will also be a need to make changes to the user's installations, uh, receive installations. That will have some impact on the cost aspects and on the timing aspects because there will be a need for time to ma make the migration to happen. We need also to take account of the future evolution, new services such as high definition television, multi-channel services, 3D television will require increasingly high capacity. Uh, viewers will want these services and we need to provide. That's why it is very important to keep sufficiently high capacity for the future. One major issue related to the implementation of new services in the digital dividend is the possible interference into broadcasting services. Now, fortunately, awareness is increasing on this subject and uh, measures on the technical and the regulatory side exist uh, to prevent this from happening, but provided that the decision, decisions are taken in time. By working with industry and our administrations, I believe that a lot of the problems can be solved.